Am I on? Can you see? Are we good? Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm filming in this dang closet, finally. Um, yeah, so, as promised, I told you guys we would get a little peek at the closet today. I will be doing a full closet tour soon. More on that in a minute. There's still a lot of, like, unfinished, unorganized, empty space, and I know it's not going to ever be perfect, like, when I, nothing's ever perfect, but I there's a lot that's not done and not like I would like it. Things that just kind of, when it was done, I was like, at night, give me 30 minutes to work on the closet. I'd be like throwing stuff in here and kind of organizing it. So on the surface, it looks good, but there's a lot of things I still want to change around before I do that. So we will talk some little minor closet details in a minute. I'll give you some little peekaroos, but this video today is going to be the equivalent of that, I don't want to say amazing, but it was a good video. It excited me. The video that was the best of 2017 beauty, which I posted, I think, last week. Let me tell you, that video excited me so much. Like, even when I'm talking about it, I get so excited because my favorite thing to do is share good stuff with you guys. Like, that's what I love to do. So that video just excited me so much to do and to talk about all those things because it was like, like, I'm getting excited just, just talking about it. The best of the best, like, everything that I used and loved over the year, all of it was just, like, my tried and true from the year, because I think that's what's most interesting. I wanted to kind of, like, bring you guys into my closet and do the same thing with clothes, to show you guys those items in my closet that have been go-tos for me, just current favorites in my closet. You guys know we all have those items in our closet that we just, they're just go-tos, you know, and it's like everything else is all, like, fine and good, and you can watch someone show just tons of new things all the time, but at the end of the day, like, I want to know the good stuff. Like, I want to see the, like, really good, exciting things. What do I do with my hands? I know I'm going to get some questions, so I wanted to kind of explain this, because since the beginning, you guys remember, 10 years ago, I filmed in my closet. I'm not going to be doing, like, makeup videos in here or doing this all the time, but I love that there's, like, so many different places to film. In a minute, I'm going to, like, change it over and film that way like I don't know we'll see do you guys remember my very very first our first place we had that it was very dark and I was like I have my shoes and my clothes like right here and I got so much crap for that from that you guys if you you want to talk about people acting like they had never seen a closet before some of you may remember some I mean it was nuts like people thought I was crazy for doing that um like why are you in your closet where I feel like I love organizing I just love having a place for everything and that was just I don't know that's just where I filmed and it was nice and then when we moved our last house I never filmed in the closet it was it was too small to kind of get into I just had like a room here when we first moved in here Brad put together those Ikea shelves and made that kind of makeshift like area that I could film in I thought oh this is gonna be perfect but the problem with that was that that closet took up so much space like the Ikea things were like like this deep like, they were huge. They were like tanks. And they were nice, but they did not hold. They just weren't like, um, they didn't make sense in that for the amount of space they took up, they held like a quarter of what a well-designed, like, smaller closet could have. So then, um, when Olivia was born, I know I'm kind of give, just writing a book for y'all, but I know there's gonna be questions. I'm just, I'm explaining. Just, just hear me out. Right after Olivia was born, we had our master closet done by a professional company. Like, put, you know, a, a, like a really nice system in there. Because it just had, like, those weird little metal racks. Which is kind of why Brad did that Ikea cap, uh, closet in the first place. There was just no space in there. So when they came in and did that, it was amazing. And I thought, oh my gosh, like, I want to put my clothes in here. So, so someone, thankfully, wanted the Ikea things. And, I mean, that was a nightmare. But we, we took it all apart. That was, that was gone. That was good. Um, I then started filming in that room, which was kind of cool. Brad and I shared that closet in there, and it held so much. But the problem was, I didn't have drawers. I didn't have space to put anything. My shoes, like, I didn't have space. In, like, we were sharing everything, which, again, it was fine. But I thought, you know what? We have this area in here, which is, like, right next to our bedroom. Like, you know, like how certain sections of the house are kind of like like if the molding is the same or like you go into like a little nook of a certain area of a clock of a hallway and like it'll be the same color or the moldings will be the same and then there's like a clear separation between the other part does that make sense so right next to our master bedroom there is this little room which i think would have been like a good off <sighs> but see we've got an we've got like two office spaces already like it's just you don't need all that i never wanted to make this a nursery because which i think would have made a lot of sense I wanted Olivia just to have the really big, nice 
other room up here. Like, I don't want to be moving stuff, which I'm so glad. Like, her room has, like, a room and a playroom, like, into it. Like, I didn't want to do all that. I didn't want to, like, change all that. So, this doesn't have, like, a bathroom anywhere. It's just very weird. Like, the other bedrooms that are upstairs are kind of in their own little area that have their own bathrooms. And it's just, like, this didn't make any sense. So, it was just kind of always the room that I was trying to do something with that never made any sense. Finally, I was like, I'm just going to do it right. I'm going to get it done. I'm so happy I did. California Closets did it. I paid, I mean, this is not a sponsor for California closets or anything um but i am just so freaking happy with it really really love it and like i said i will give you guys all the details and show you every little nook and cranny we're actually going to connect the two and i actually told some of you guys that up until literally the moment like i started sweating i was like i can't do that like i don't want to destroy the house like i can't do that we've got like bedroom space in the basement and stuff too so but i didn't want to like wreck the house i was like i cannot connect these two so what we did is we did the closet over here and then in this little nook where the closet part of this closet used to be, we reworked it and made it like a storage area for my work stuff. There's like a shelf. I will show you all that when it's done. It looks like a hot mess right now. There's like mirror drawers. It's really pretty. So I can put like extra beauty stuff, extra like um, any kind of work stuff, things that don't have anything to do with YouTube that I need. It's just really nice. And it's actually closer for me to walk in here from our bedroom than it is to walk into the other closet through a bathroom. It's very weird, okay, so whatever, it worked. So that's that, because I have gotten questions about that. Like, what is this? Where was that? And bleh. So that's that. Let's talk about what I'm wearing right now. This is the outfit that I was wearing today, and I kind of wanted to share with you guys something about these boots in particular, which you guys know I have sang the praises of these boots forever. When I bought these, I ended up buying the other color. No, I just bought the black, but I've dreamed of buying the other colors as well because they're just so good. But let me give you guys a tip. I'm going to kind of show you guys how I styled these today. I have them all with some distressed denim and um, these lovely, lovely booties that are my favorite. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love them so much. Basic pieces. It just makes the best looking outfit and it's so simple. You look so like together and stylish. Like this is my style. I'm not trying too hard. I'm not like overly trendy. I'm not doing anything like to the extreme, but I just look put together, you know, and I feel like it is kind of a timeless, maybe, I don't know, look. Two big tips here. When you are buying booties, I have been in the position so many times where like I find a pair of like good looking boots and I'm like, what color should I get? Should I get like this more like nudish brown, like something like this, or should I get black? And a lot of times my common sense says just get black. You have a lot of black bags, you have a lot of black things. But I have found from owning a lot of black boots and these that I wear these more than anything in this color. And I'll tell you why. When I wear something like this that's black, I don't want to always, sometimes I do, but I don't want to always just black it out and put on black boots, you know, and just have it like too much. This is such a good way to break it up. Do you know what I mean? But when I wear something like ivory, or even if, oh my gosh, like an ivory sweater like this, white denim, this, yes, you can wear white year round. I'm a southern girl. I like the no white after Labor Day rule. I really do. I really do. I really do. Like, it's in my blood to, like, to do that, you know, to, like, obey that rule. But I just think that white denim always looks good so regardless of what you feel about that don't follow the rules just it, it, you, you know you feel me um could you imagine though like ivory with denim in this or ivory with white denim in these so i feel like you would probably be able to wear these with anything you could take this in to spring and like fall with like a dress or some like leggings and like a tunic these, I just think this color, if you're on the fence about what color to ever buy, get this color. And if you're on the fence about these boots, y'all, I can't even say anything else about them. I just can't. This is very odd for me because I do not wear heels a lot. And I was looking back and I thought, what else can I show them that I wear a lot? It's been those boots, you guys. It's just been those boots and those are the, in that color or the black. But honestly, I wear those the most, that nude color. We're just experimenting. This is a little experimenty video. I'm just gonna point it this way. Um, yeah, I cannot wait. We're getting uh, like plantation shutters for this window. We ordered them about a month ago. It's probably, it, that window is pretty like a basic size, so it probably would've already been here, but then we also ordered one for like this huge window we have that needed to be covered. So that's what's like holding it all up. I'll show you my handbags and stuff in a minute that I've kind of been like going for the most. 
and I don't know about the I don't know about these shell like I don't know what I'm gonna keep on these these are just things that I just stuck there but whatever over here I have bags I have bags along the top over here and then I'm gonna put some over there as well um, and there's one section that I'm unsure about there's a lot of stuff I need to get rid of you guys and hangers that I need to change out let me give you a little tip so my friend recently um, was asking me about hangers and I was telling somebody else about the I feel like I've talked about these for years I had these 10 years ago in our first 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 closet they save so much space they're the huggable hangers and I always use the black ones but in this closet I decided I wanted to go with white because I put on my black in here and it was like do you see how they look almost invisible you guys and something about these so they're flocked I'm like a huge believer in these you can hang like really heavy sweaters off of them and it's not like something smooth that like they hang off of and then they, you get that you know that thing something about the friction like makes it obviously makes it stay put but do you see how it like takes the stress off it's like it's evenly dis distributed do you see what I'm saying um anyways so you can get them at Target I'll link to them below there's a really good set of them at Target I actually just ordered all these online through my store like I ordered like several packs of 40 um and in that you get I think like 20 like this and then 20 that have the line on the bottom so you can hang pants which I think those are called like suit hangers or something but whatever you can hang your shorts off of all of them but those are nice to have too but anyways I will link to that yeah and then over here I've just got like some blouses and stuff but let me show you okay you watching you want okay so look these hangers you can like literally this is how I used to always have them at my other house because we didn't have like as much closet space so I would have things together and it's not shoved it's like a comfortable so there's just so thin I feel like it's a store like when I used to work at Express at the mall in college you ever worked retail you do like the finger spacing you know and then everything was always black the poles were always black it was disgusting California closets did these like not silicone but it's like plastic or like okay whatever we're supposed to be talking about favorites I don't even know I won't give you any more peeks of the closet because I don't have anything else to show you you know I have this whole wall and that whole wall and and then this. I'll kind of give you guys a little tour of this. we we'll do that. And I'll show you like in the drawers and stuff. I got a lot of work to do before then. Saw the denim that I was wearing, that I am wearing. Um, let me stand on this and risk my life. I need to get something I can stand on so I don't have to like adjust. <gasps> yes, I need to get something I can stand on because this right here is wobbly. This little thing. Here is my pro tip of life. When you are buying denim and you're spinning a lot or not, buy something that has like an ankle crop. These are my attractive socks that I wear with my booties. They don't creep down. I'll link to those as well. Um, but buy some denim that is cropped at the ankle. One, you won't have to get them um, hemmed. You won't have that nasty like bunchy disaster. You can wear them in the winter because obviously you're wearing booties. I actually like it when you see a little break, you know, like when you can kind of see some skin sometime in front of your booty. Not in front of your booty. Booty skin is always bad. No one wants to see your booty skin. Love having my jeans in a drawer. Okay, these are amazing. These are actually pretty affordable and they're very distressed. Now, I like to pair with just a plain sweater, which is what I wear 99% of the time in the fall and the winter. Some kind of plain sweater, you know, really big and chunky or you know, just something kind of basic. I like to pair that with a little bit of distressing. These are my just most favorite pair. It is the most perfect amount of distressing. Do you see that? And they are so comfortable. They hit right, maybe a little higher than these. They were on sale the last time I checked, which was kind of magical. I will say though, I'm not a fancy, like, I'm, I'm like all up close and personal because we're about to talk about, um, about to talk about something serious. I am not like a leather pants kind of gal. I used to have some leather leggings that were real thick on the front, faux leather. They weren't like real leather leggings. I just don't know why the appeal of like buying, I wouldn't buy like real leather pants because all I want is the look. It's not like a bag that I'm trying to get like a certain feel or to hold up a certain way or, you know, there's certain things that's just not the same. These are magic leggings. They're by Spanx. Okay, that's why I came in close, because we're about to talk about Spanx. These are so incredible, you guys. I can't even tell you. If you want to do, like, an all-black look, you don't want to pair the same types of fabrics. Okay, obviously you're not going to be wearing pants made out of the sweater, but you know what I mean, like, something that's not shiny, like, from a distance, something that could look the same. Put it on with this. Like, change the texture a little bit. Do you see that? 
so good. Now these are substantial. Like they feel very thin, but when you put them on, they look they look so good. You guys think I mean I would not be wearing a crop top with this or nothing. But people that used to say leggings aren't pants did not understand. They didn't understand that leggings are pants. Tights are not pants. Different story. I think people were confused. Okay, that's that's what I'm going with. I don't know. That 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 makes me feel better about wearing these, but let me <laughs> you guys you gotta you've gotta try these. So been grabbing for these. I'm gonna show you a few more tops because I really don't have many other like pants. That's just been kind of it. Oh my gosh. Okay. You guys, L and M, I have worn her stuff for years. I love my hands out, you know I'm serious. I I, I just I love her sweatshirts, you just don't have to think about them. You just put them on. This one is so cute. So I wore this. Um, was the day we went to see Santa? I was a little edgy going to see Santa. I put on with this jacket, which is one of those nubbiest jackets. It's a couple years old. Um, I don't think they sell this one anymore, but I'll link to a few more. I mean, these are any kind of jacket that's a little furry with some texture. Um, I love this sweatshirt. Her sweatshirts just feel so good. I want to show you guys another one. Here's another one. She updated her Vogue because I have the white Vogue, the black Vogue. Love. And then this one's over here because when I do laundry, I'll just like stick my head in here and like put them on this little rack. <gasps> Let me show you. Can you see this? No, you can't. I have a little rack that sticks out so I can like hang stuff. It's the little things. I was real excited about that. But anyways, and then this one, this one, um, I just, <laughs> this one was in the wash. Oh my gosh, you guys. So this is like, it's like blush. It's distressed. It's a little edgy. It's a little kind of unexpected. I love it. I just, I love her sweatshirt so much. So I will link to her. Um, oh, I thought I was wearing my necklace. Speaking of necklaces, you guys, this is such a go-to of mine. This is from that Everyday Find collection. I'll link to this exact one. I love it. This is like kind of a long, kind of like spiky looking, a little dangerous. Plated in real gold. Like all, all these are kind of like, um, it's like real gold plated. Super affordable. So you, you get the look and the appearance of like a real fine piece of jewelry. Love these pieces and the style of all of them are like to die for. If you just want to wear like a big bag sweater, I think you can actually make a really cool statement. If you wear it with one of these like cropped pair of denim, some heels, those booties, it is like an instant like super chic outfit. And I just, I love. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna link to you guys some of my very favorite like oversized sweaters. This one I always flip it down. You can wear the neck up, which is kind of awkward and weird, but I like to kind of wear it flipped down like a turtleneck, you know, I just kind of fold it once. But love this sweater. I was gonna wear it today, but I think I just wore it in a video. Well, this one I just wore too. I don't know. See, I'm telling you, favorites. Um, and then I have that in black as well. You don't have to think. Literally, just get up, put one of those on, put on those leather leggings with either one of those, put on the denim with any of this, put on any shoe. You guys, I'm telling you, boot those booties, and you've got like an instant outfit, and you don't even have to think. That. This is also amazing. This is the one like I have in pink as well. Whenever I hold up anything black, I like, I, I disappear. Um, this is so good. So this one is very long and kind of big, like big bag. I would definitely wear this with those black leggings. That would look so chic and pretty. This is no freaking surprise. I've talked about this so much. Put on a t-shirt, put on a long sleeved shirt, put this on over it. This is just the easiest sweater. Free people does me right. I don't even know. Don't think I've shown this to you guys yet. Um, but it is like just one of those, it's just buttery soft. You know why? Cause it's the same. It's the same dang brand as my favorite t-shirts. Favorite. Guys, if you don't have those t-shirts, if you haven't even just bought one, jump on it. I have got them in all colors. And you're noticing this is the section over here where all of my hangers are mismatched. Don't ever buy these hangers unless if... I keep them in a the laundry room. I like to dry things on these. It's a mess. You will drive yourself to an early insanity with like listen and then they're falling off it's like and they always break they always break how do these always get like stepped on and broken i don't even know oh so, yeah you guys know i've discovered the long sleeve tops as well you can get the same down the back so if you love these those t-shirts you have to try like look they're high low oh, man. i'm wondering why i only have white i'm wondering why i didn't buy them Maybe they weren't available in the other colors when I... It was a long time ago, though, so I will update you guys with that. This I have been throwing on with everything. It's my little Adidas track jacket. Don't even think about it. Just, like, throw it on. Like, put a t-shirt on, throw this on, put on some leggings. They're just amazing. Um, I also recently, so I guess this is kind of something new, um, I picked up this Rails 
a blouse. See, this is what the black looks like, which is totally fine. I use the black in Brad's closet. See, now it's like we're to a too many type of hanger household. Um, but I'm not about to get rid of all the black ones and switch over because that would just be completely insane. But yeah, I, I, I need to, I don't think I washed this one. I should because it looks like a mess. I guess I could just steam it. I really like to wash things before I buy it though. Are you guys the same? I just, I don't know. I just feel like it's, I guess, you know what it is? I used to not be that way until I had Olivia. And then it's like, if anything comes into the house, I always wash it before she wears it. I'm like that with my stuff too now, which is very strange. Guys, I used to always make fun of these rail shirts and say, why the heck would anybody spend that on them? If you follow me and you watch my videos about the Nordstrom anniversary sale, which it is not right now, um, which is very sad. But if you did, I talked these in the ground when you could have gotten this one. It was like half off or something. Um, these rail shirts are so good. This white one that I can just throw on whenever. Kind of looks like I'm working at a restaurant though. Like I'm a server. So I don't know how I feel about that, but here's what I'm going to do. It's kind of like a server's uniform. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do though? You know what I like to do? I like to unbutton the bottom button and then like pretend I'm wearing it. And then you just kind of tie you know, just tie that right above your belt. I'm not talking about like 80s, you know, like mid joke. I'm talking like just hang. You feel me? I'm about to switch into this. I almost swapped into that today. I went to meet a friend for lunch and I was running late. I was going to switch into it, but I didn't. But I have really been enjoying this bag. I either carry my backpack, the one that I got um, last Christmas, that Louis Vuitton one, which I really love, or I carry this. And I really haven't carried much else. Um, unless I just switch into something small, like for a night or something, but, um, this bag is really, really nice. I have really, really been happy with this one. It's very cool. So, I have been very happy with that, but when I wore this today, for some reason, I, I love this print, this Damier print with black, and I really wanted to put this on today, and I just didn't have time to change into it, and I was, like, running out the door. Oh, there's floss in here. Found my old travel floss in there. It's gross. Don't ever floss your teeth in public. Okay, don't even tell me. If you do floss your teeth in public, I don't even want to hear about it. I'm going to leave this out because I'm going to swap into that next. So, yeah, for the new year, right? I, You know what it is? Every year... Is that what it is? I don't know. That's right. I was going to say, around the holidays, I usually will get, like, a nice handbag. This is the last one that I've really bought that I just have not had any urge to get anything. There's just nothing that I even want. I don't really want anything. I don't need anything, but, um, you know, I like handbags. I like buying stuff that I like, but I certainly don't ever feel like, oh, I need to buy this or I need to buy that, or I'm not even, like, wanting anything. Um, but this, this I got, I think, was it two or three years ago? I don't remember exactly, but, um, yeah, I think I'm going to change into this for, um, Christmas and for, like, the new year. Am I really close to you right now? Um, these are the glasses that I've been wearing a lot lately. And again, I always say, I'm not a sunglass girl. I don't like, when you see my little sunglass set up, you'll be like, what? But I don't have a whole lot. I really don't. The ones that I have are nice. Um, but these are the ones I have been wearing the most lately. These are, I don't want to say they're old, but I've had them for a while. Uh, they're those real obnoxious Gucci ones. And now they come in like all the glitter and all the weirdness. But um, these are good. I just love me some big sunglasses and I don't care. I don't care who knows it. Uh, but anyways, I really like that. So, okay. This? I don't know where this came from. That's weird. I'll put that up. I am like all about a good beanie, you guys. This is kind of like... This is a Barefoot Dreams one. I was going to say it's kind of amazing. It feels amazing. So what I do with a beanie is I put it on and it's kind of like this at the top. You know, don't like pull it down over your eyebrows. And then you can like tuck it a little in the back. Can you even see it? Is it so like light? Do I just look like a floating head? But you see what I mean? It's pretty cute. I don't know cute little beanie but then the poofy beanies the poof the one with the fur poof has become quite the thing again every, every year they're they're popular they have them every year but this one is like oh, it's lined in fleece and it's just amazing I wore it in a video not that long ago but love that one they come in all different styles you can get tons and tons of different fur ones but I just love that one I think that I'm gonna call it a day I know, it's like, I just wanted to show you guys things that are my go-tos, and I might make this kind of a thing where we come through, like, every few months, and I kind of show you guys what I'm reaching for the most, because I think that's really fun. But don't worry, we'll do a lot more closet videos in between there, because I love doing, like, clothing hauls, I love doing all kinds of different things, lookbooks. I have not done a lookbook in a while, and I totally, I don't want to say dropped the ball, but I just, I, I 
forgot to do one. Like, I should have done a winter one or a holiday one. I didn't. This is the first year I haven't done that. Um, but we will obviously have lots more to come. And um, I'm just really excited, you guys. I'm excited to have kind of a new spot in here. And then, of course, when everything is, like, super complete and I've got everything just right, which I know is unrealistic. Things will never be just right. That's why I hate doing, like, home stuff, too, is my Christmas home tour, you guys, it was real cute. But literally the next day I was moving stuff around. If you guys like to decorate, if any of you are designers, which I am not, but I'm saying, like, you're always moving stuff around, you know? Like, I like to decorate. I like to kind of... It's just fun. I don't know. I'm always changing stuff. Always. Like, it never stays the same. And then when you change it, you're like, ugh, I can't believe I showed that. So, I don't know. I've already, like, added Christmas stuff. I've changed things. Whatever. It is what it is. But... I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the closet or you're wondering how and why and how, where things are, I am going to do that closet tour because that's not what this was. I just wanted to come in here and kind of show you guys some favorites and kind of just like do a little update. I don't know. I just felt like talking about clothes today. So this was really fun and um, fun doing something a little different in a different space. I really love it in here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And Merry Christmas. I am so excited about Christmas. I cannot wait. I wish it would like snow or something. I don't, I don't think it's going to be a white Christmas for us. If it would be, that would be so... I, I love snow. I told Brad I kind of want to move somewhere where it snows all the time. We had that snow day where we literally got like 10 inches of snow. And it got me real excited. And then it was like gone, you know, in two days. But... So I will see you guys next week. I am taking a break on Christmas. So I'm not going to be posting like on my usual Monday for Christmas, but you guys will have something really fun coming up on Friday or Thursday. I might post it a little early. So, um, anyways, you guys, thank you for watching. I will see you next week, and, um, it'll give you a chance to catch up on some older videos that you may have missed. Don't go back too far, though, because those are terrifying. I'm just saying. Like, I, I would say don't go back past, like, maybe a week ago. Um, alright, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Love y'all so much, and, um, Merry Christmas. Bye, guys.